Evo, veliki pozdrav poštovani gledalci. Evo, tu smo, vratili smo se iz Koreje i evo smo sa Draganom u Long Beachu. Pozvao nas je da napravimo mali intervju. Tako da, možemo odradine. Kako je bilo u Koreji kad se sve šalo tamo? Koreja je bila super, Dragane, znaš. Kad se sve ovo desilo sa koronom u martu prošle godine, Kalifornija se zatvorila, znaš i ti sam kako je bilo, nije bilo baš najlakše. A ja sam od nje čuo da Koreja normalno funkcioniše. Tako da sam odlučio da odem do Koreje i da vidim kakav je život tamo. Znaš što, u Koreji je bilo jako zanimljivo zato što ja uopšte ne pričam jezik, ali su mi se puno više prilike ukazale nego što ovdje u Kaliforniji recimo. Tamo za ti šest meseci što sam bio, mi smo osnovali prvi filmski festival na ostrvu. Počeli smo ja i ona kompaniju zajednu, zove se Bravo Always. Dobili smo para da počnemo moj drugi dugometražni film tamo na ostrvu. I dobio sam ponudu, Dragane, što te nisam rekao, da budem the director of film and arts on the island. Znaš? I told him that I forgot to tell him that from God's I got the option to become the the director of film and art department. I za to su mi ponudili 10% kompanije. They gave me 10% of the company for that offer. Znaš? Tako... And also salary, yes. I zbog toga se najvjerojatnije vraćam u martu. Kraj marta ili početkom aprila. Ako su gledalci zainteresovani da vide još videe i da nauče više kakav je bio život u Koreji, dobro došli na moj YouTube kanal Atila Korose. Tako da zapratite i komentarišete. I posavetujete me kako da napravim bolje videe. Evo danas se ovdje nalazim sa dvoje mladih ljudi koji su se upoznali u Americi. Jedan je došao iz Srbije, a ova druga devojka je došla iz Koreje. Evo, danas upoznajem Atilu Korosaja, koje ste ranije već upoznali. Čovjek je došao ovdje sa namjerom da snimi neki film, to je uspeo. I, eto, došlo je do toga da su se on i njegova devojka sreli. Ok, guys, can you tell me how did you meet each other and Atilo, when you come to America and when you come to America? For the very first time, I came to America in 2007. How about you? Uh, I think it was 2016, New York. I went travel. New York? Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, what was your reason to come here and what was your reason to come here? What was your reason to come to America? For me, just for traveling. I heard New York City has so many art artists and uh -huh. there is a musicers and art museum. So I really wanted to go and check it out. How good it is. <laughs> <laughs> you know, Dragan, she is a rich girl, so she can just go and travel and mess no. around. Attila, Attila has to work hard to come to America. <laughs> I came on a full scholarship. I used to be a runner. And through running, I got a full scholarship and I came here. Man, this was like 14 years ago. Pray 14 godina, Dragane. Okay, in that 14 years, what you did here? What did I do? Uh, should, I, should I speak English, Serbian or mix? Let's do mix. Do the Serbian? Serbian. I'll do Serbian. I uh, speak English, so it's, yeah. I came in 2007 on a full scholarship uh, at the University of Tulsa. And I, I was in college for five years because I got my degrees in accounting. And then I did some master study that we post our CPA eligible. And CPA means Certified Public Accountant. That's like the highest rank of accounting so that's what i did and then you know i had lots of internships and lots of job opportunities from like the big four like ernst and young deloitte kpmg but i ended up deciding to leave all that accounting past behind me and come blindly to los angeles and to create something big something big that this girl is going to be proud of how about that answer dragon and time flies by How did you meet Lavi David? Oh, good question. Let's talk about Dragane. First time I arrived in LA, I was really surprised. There is so many homeless and people looks like a little bit high. Yeah. Yeah, with the drug, and the car was racing around. I was in the downtown. So that night, I I was thinking, okay, I'm gonna go to New York. 
I don't feel like good good place to stay uh -huh. here. And that is where we met. Yeah. And that is she decides she's not gonna go to New York, but she's gonna stay here. How about that impression That's not I made? True. No, tell I Dragon the truth. <laughs> tell the audience that is the, truth. the truth. My baby wanna believe like that? Then I'm gonna give the light. Kisa na trenutak da se izvinem gledaocima zbog naočala. Uh, I'm apologizing to the audience, asking for their forgiveness because we are wearing the sunglasses. Ali jako je oštar, oštar sunce. Tako da nažalost. Bez ovog moramo da ovako zažmurimo. Nije dobro, Dragane, jeli? Da se zažmuri. So it's okay. Well, for the first time I went to Korea, I was only there for one week. And then I went back in 2020 when the coronavirus happened here. So I went back and then I spent six months over there. And the first three months we spent in her city called Gwonju. A populacija tog grada je oko 1,5 miliona stanovnika. I onda posle smo otišli na mesto, na, na ostrvo, Godje ostrvo, Godje do. It's an island. E, tamo sam Dragane počeo da snimam i da sarađujem sa, sa ljudima. Čak sa gradom tog ostrva, the city of Godje. Tako da je bilo jako fenomenalno. Tamo sam se samo fokusirao, znaš, da snimam malo videe za YouTube, da promovišem to ostrvo i ta, tako to. Da, dobio sam nagradu, napravio sam mali filmić, dokumentarac, kako je počela demokratija u Koreji. I'm talking about the May 18 video. I understand. I to, to se njima mnogo dopalo. Tamo sam pobedio na, na takmičenju jednom i pozvali su me u City Hall. A City Hall to ti je, šta ti je to, Dragane? To je gradska kuća. Opština, gradska opština, kuća, da. Tako da je bilo jako lepo. It was a great experience. I, Dobio sam distribuciju. Znači, taj mali dokumentarac su mi, su mi platili i su distributivali čitavoj Koreji na nacionalnoj televiziji. It was on national TV, on KBS. Zove se KBS. To ti je number one TV channel there. Is it? Number yeah. one TV channel. KBS. Yeah, national, national TV. National TV. He's asking me, am I talented? Yeah, of course. <laughs> ask her, ask her, ask her. <laughs> Of course he's going to say yes. <laughs> so many people recognize his talent. Really. <laughs> uh, so you decided to come back to America. Are you going to stay here to live in America? Are you going to go to Korea or to go to Serbia? Oh, I love to go to Serbia, really. Really. But if we go to Serbia, we have to stay in quarantine. I, th I don't think not anymore. No, 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 but how about can I go or I can't go because you I'm not go. citizen? I think I can you can go. go right now. Yeah. That is good because last time I heard I can go. Only yeah, only citizen can go. I heard about this. Yeah. Well, well, was there a couple months ago, three months ago? I don't know. Maybe six months. A few ago. months ago. Six <laughs> yeah. months ago. Yeah, six months ago. It was summertime. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, I really wanted to go to Serbia. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, we started a company together. It's called Bravo Always. Bravo Always. It came out like uh, this is a dancewear company, and it came out every dancer are dance a lot together. Bravo Always, like always, they need to, they want to get a Bravo. So we are really wishing to dancers get Bravo Always with our product. Yeah. You know, it doesn't matter if you're an artist or an athlete or a ballerina, right? People, as long as you're performing, you want to get some kind of approval from strangers. Uh -huh. And the best way for strangers to showcase their respect towards you is by doing this. Bravo. Yeah. So this has a very special meaning yeah. and it is universal language. Everybody in the world understands what does this mean. Maze of Fate. Maze of Fate had its screening in different festivals in Mexico, in, in, in uh, Australia, in Europe, in, so in South America, and in North America. And because of Corona, the film festival experience is not very good because the purpose of film festivals, right, is to go and to dress up nicely, to meet people, to shake hands, to exchange phone numbers. But because of Corona, everything is online. It's like a virtual festival. And because of that, I decided, you know what? Let's stop with that. Let's pull it out from festivals and let's wait until Corona clears up. 
Bravo, always! Znaš, sam znaš, Dragne, znači izvadio sam film sa festivala i onda u među vremenu su neki ljudi u Hollywoodu, znači veliki produceri, što neću da sada da imenjujem, ali oni su vidjeli moj film i njima se mnogo dopao. Znači dok sam bio u Koreji, njihov asistent me je našao i poslao mi e-mail da zakaže Zoom meeting sa mnom. Znaš, to je bilo u oktobru ili novembru prošle godine. I od tada svaki mesec jednom pričamo preko Zooma neki sat, sat i po vremena i počeli smo script development. Znači počeli smo da, da radimo na scenariju u drugom filmu. Ali ovaj drugi film što radim trenutno sada, to će biti, znaš, to će biti film sa budžetom, to će biti film, znaš, neće biti kao Maze of Fate, ono, umetnički baš, biti akcijalni film. Tako da jedva čekam. Jedan od čeka da podelim više, informi- više informacije sa tobom, Dragane. So when you guys are planning to travel somewhere, maybe Korea back or Europe? Well, she's going to go to Korea actually tomorrow. She's going to go to Korea tomorrow. <laughs> and then I have to stay here because I have some obligation as far as, as, far as the writing goes. And then, but the people in Korea, they're waiting for me to go over there because they have a project, project uh, starting as soon as I come. I'm planning to go end of March. End of March or the latest, uh, beginning of April. And you still have to be in quarantine over there? Right? Yeah, yeah. Two weeks quarantine, mm-hmm. pay the fee of $2,100. Mm-hmm. But luckily right now, they're going to cover me with everything. Uh, I didn't mention it, but we started a film festival. We are starting a film festival in Godzi Island. Uh, we are also in negotiation to start filming a movie, mm-hmm. like a feature film, Igrani film, mm-hmm. u, 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 i, i, in Goji Island. So lots of things are happening in Korea, Dragon, for us. And that's why it makes not much sense to stay here. My only thing, only reason I'm staying here right now because I have the other film going on with these producers. Oh. You know? It's big. It's a really big one. It's a big thing. Uh-huh. And I'll keep you posted when we do the next show, next Dragan Rakonjat show, then I'll tell you more information. Hopefully by then I was, I'm able to tell you more info about what's going on. Da, ne, nema šta da se proba, nego ponuda je važeća, tako da ako odem, to mi je ponuđeno. I zašto ne bi to odradio? Šta bi mi falio da počnem filmski festival tamo i da počnem da snimam filmove koje ja bi želeo da pravim, ali u Koreji. Znači, ja bi donio, znaš, moje ljudi iz Los Angelesa, e, moje glumce koje, koga bi želeo, znaš, i eto, pozvao bi, znaš, moju sestru, pozvao bi tebe da dođeš lepo, malo da snimaš behind the scenes, zašto da ne, znaš. I tebi bi to lepo prijalo do, do, da dođeš malo na ostrovo. Znači, veliki pozdrav gledalcima, hvala što ste gledali emisiju, nadam se da vam se sviđa. I iskreno da kažem, ja jedva čekam da se vratim u Srbiju, i da prikažem svoj film Maze of Fate, Lavirin sudbine, tamo našim gledalcima. Da vide šta sam uspio da odradim dolazeći iz malog gradića. Veliki pozdrav. I nemojte zaboraviti da zapratite moj kanal. <laughs> ćao, ćao. Ćao, ćao. Pozdrav, pozdrav. See you in Serbia. <laughs>